there are many mysteries of the five crime families. From the mysterious disappearances of mob bosses to the unsolved murders of informants, delve into the dark and shadowy world of organized crime and uncover the secrets that have remained hidden for decades. This video will tackle three mysteries and give you everything there is to know about them. Crime Families A crime family is a group of criminals organized under a hierarchical structure, typically led by a single leader or family. The leader of a crime family is usually the head of a criminal enterprise, such as the Mafia, and is responsible for overseeing the organization's operations. Crime families are typically divided into small cells, each with its leader. These cells are responsible for criminal activities, such as money laundering, drug trafficking, and extortion. These activities are often linked to organized crime, and the profits generated are used to increase the power and influence of the crime family. Crime families often have strong ties to legitimate businesses, allowing them to operate without attracting too much attention. Through these connections, they can use their influence to gain access to resources, such as money and weapons, which can be used to further their criminal activities. Crime families are notorious for using violence and intimidation to control their territories. The Five Crime Families The five prominent crime families in the United States are the Gambino, Genovese, Lucchese, Bonanno, and Colombo. The Gambino family, also known as the Commission, is believed to be the most powerful of the five families. It is headquartered in New York City and is believed to be the most influential of the five families. The Genovese family is also based in New York City and is known for its involvement in labor union racketeering and illegal gambling. The Lucchese family is based in New Jersey and is involved in drug trafficking and extortion. The Bonanno family, based in Brooklyn, is known for its involvement in extortion and labor racketeering. Finally, the Colombo family, based in New York City, is involved in loan sharking, money laundering, and drug trafficking. Guy for all of their illegal activities. Each of the five families has its own leadership structure: a boss, an underboss, and a consigliere. The boss is the head of the family and makes all the significant decisions. We'll later introduce you to Angelo Bruno, a notorious mafia from Philadelphia who disappeared in 1980. Keep watching for more. Joe Valachi. Joe Valachi was a mobster who became the first to testify publicly about the inner workings of the mob. Born in Sicily, Valachi moved to the U.S. as a young man and eventually joined the Cosa Nostra. Valachi is best known for his testimony before the Senate in 1963, in which he revealed the previously unknown existence of the Mafia. In 1972, Valachi mysteriously disappeared from his home in New York. It was initially believed that the mob had murdered him as retribution for his betrayal of the Brotherhood. However, his body was never found and the case remains unsolved. Speculation about Vlachi's disappearance has gone on for decades. Some believe that he staged his disappearance so that he could start a new life free from the mob. He disappeared. Others think that the mob had killed him and disposed of his body. No matter what happened to Vlachi, his disappearance remains a mystery. He gave the public a glimpse into the dark underworld of organized crime, and his legacy is still felt today. Subscribe to our channel to be in the know on all the mystery behind famous mafia and legends from the past. Turn on post notifications as well. Angelo the Gentle Don Bruno Angelo the Gentle Don Bruno was a prominent organized crime figure in Philadelphia from 1959 until his disappearance in 1980. He was a powerful mob boss who ran the Philadelphia crime family for over 20 years. Bruno was known for his quiet and reserved manner, leading to his nickname the Gentle Don, and he was respected even by his enemies. In March of 1980, Bruno left his home in Philadelphia and was never seen or heard from again. Rumors abounded about his fate, but no one ever found evidence of what happened to him. Some believed that he was murdered by an enemy, while others thought that he had gone into hiding. The FBI and local law enforcement launched an extensive investigation into his disappearance, but despite their best efforts, no evidence was ever found. No prints, no evidence, nothing. After two years, the investigation was abandoned and Bruno was declared legally dead. His disappearance remains unsolved today, and it is uncertain if the truth of what happened to him will ever be known. Wealth and Ranks Another mystery is the inner workings of the family's hierarchy. How do members rise through the ranks? What is the extent of their international connections? How are their wealth and power maintained? Finally, it is unclear how the families interact and cooperate. Do they compete or collaborate? Do they divide territory or share resources? The answer to these questions remains elusive. The five crime families of New York City remain shrouded in mystery, and the true scope of their power and influence is still unknown. Their inner workings, hierarchy, and interaction with each other remain mysteries, a fascinating aspect of the criminal underworld. So, will these mysteries remain forever unsolved despite tedious investigations by the FBI? Find out later on.
being investigated by the FBI. FBI Investigations The FBI has not been able to solve the mystery of the five crime families. Still, they have made significant progress in understanding the role of each family and their collective impact on organized crime in the United States. The five families are the Gambino, Genovese, Lucchese, Colombo, and Bonanno crime families, which are all part of the American Mafia. The FBI has conducted extensive investigations into these crime families' activities and has successfully arrested and convicted many of the members involved. They have also uncovered much evidence regarding the family's roles in illegal activities, such as racketeering, extortion, and money laundering. Forever unsolved? However, despite the FBI's successes, the mystery of the five families remains largely unsolved. The families are highly secretive and well-organized, making it difficult for law enforcement to uncover their inner workings. Moreover, families have a powerful influence in many areas of society, including politics and business, making it difficult to hold them accountable for their criminal activities. The FBI's investigations into the five crime families have been ongoing for decades, but the mystery remains unsolved, though progress has been made. The unsolved mysteries of unsolved mysteries. Do you find the murky mafia underworld intriguing? And if that's the case, you won't want to miss our other film, which is also about Anthony Provenzano, a significant player in the Genovese crime family. This video delves into three fascinating mysteries related to Provenzano. This video is essential for anybody curious about organized crime in the Mafia, as it reveals the suspect's possible involvement in Jimmy Hoffa's disappearance and the mystery surrounding a stolen notebook that may have exposed his innermost thoughts. Thank you for watching.